Hey, thanks for watching guys. I kind of wanted to do a quick clip today uh, depicting the uh, ATV style of toy dolly. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a narrow trailer. Um, it doesn't take up any more space than the actual four-wheeler does. I mean, maybe a few feet in the front, but really doesn't take up your whole garage like a normal utility trailer would. Um, the way I got it set up right now is I've got the ramps down. I'll show you in a minute how those actually go into the, uh, the bottom of the, the ramps here. Um, and I guess just to get to the point of the, how the toy dolly works, um, it's got independent suspension. So I'll try to take a shot down there. So it's got independent suspension. So when it's going down the road, uh, you don't have an axle that's uh, manipulating the other set of tires, right? So, um, and right now I've got it set up to where it's on those peg legs. If you can see all the way in the back, um, we, uh, with this uh, front leg, right? We push the trailer up to where it's sitting on those legs in the back. So where you don't have any weight on the wheel, so it's nice and sturdy. <clears throat> See these peg legs right here. So it's really, really sturdy. You can, you can um, um, get the four wheeler on and off the trailer in the garage without any problem. I've got some videos of that also. Anyway, so I guess back to the suspension, right, and the narrow wheelbase, right. It's two foot roughly wheelbase. Uh, so that you can make this trailer narrow and we can get away with that and make that happen and not have the trailer tip over by this u-joint design right here so this goes into your truck or your vehicle receiver um, you, know, you just put a pin in it just like you would a, uh, a ball hitch and it allows the trailer to go up and down side to side but it won't let it tip over so when you're going around turns, you do have a little bit of play um, at this hitch point. So we do recommend uh, putting in a stabilizer. Um, and you do have a little bit of play in this U-joint, not much. And a, and, and, but really the trailer doesn't flex a whole lot. But that's the point of the independent suspension. So really, it, it really just kind of floats behind your car. Um, it, it, it actually tows really well. So anyway, uh, let me quickly show you how these ramps go in and out it's easier to pull them out than it is to put it in with one hand so um let's see if i can do this so sorry i couldn't i couldn't do that um with one hand so um i just put it in kind of halfway um and it's it's pretty easy to get them in though and it just slides in there and so everything you need for this trailer stays with it at all times. So you put that in there. And then you take these. Right? Obviously, unscrew that from the handle. Right? So that comes unscrewed. And then you will put that in here. Put the screw in that way. And then you just tighten it up by hand. So it's pretty easy. And that holds on to the ramps going down the road. And that's it, guys. Uh, it's a really, really good trailer. It works really well. It saves space. That's the whole point. So look us up at uh, toydolly-ps.com. And uh, look at our other configurations. This particular one will take a golf cart as well as an ATV. Um, we have motorcycle ones, obviously. That's where the brand really started, was motorcycle uh, toy dollies. And so it's obviously even more narrow than this. So anyway, check us out, toydolly-ps.com. Thanks. So obviously you have this license plate here, holder with the lights and everything. And if you back this ATV down, uh, you would rip that thing off, right? So one neat thing, is you've got just this pin you gotta pull and then that just folds down and gets out of the way and then obviously when you're done you've got everything loaded back up it's ready to go